won six of the last eight. And this is a team that has been very consistent throughout the course of the season. Those two losses in the last eight games, the only time all year they have lost back-to-back -back contests. Yeah, and I think a lot of it starts with the fact that they have a crystal clear understanding of who they are. As you see Cole line one up and knock one down. That need to knock down shots for UConn. Hey. Colby Jones had his shot altered by Whaley. Now a three on two. And Cole rolls it in. Cole gambles and gives a guy that's been in a slump an opportunity to knock down a shot. Let's keep an eye on Johnson now and see if he can knock down a few. Hunter almost knocked it loose from Gaffney. And now the hands in R.J. Cole. And Cole responds with it. All of a sudden, they are up 10. The first double-digit lead of the night for either team. But and Xavier's doing just such a good job on Sonogo. But Cole back in the game. You know he's going to get aggressive here. Playing with three fouls. He's only played three minutes and a half to this point. Cole a three. And he buries it. Coming. There's another just back down. Has yet to score in this half. 0 for 2. Cole is made back to back. And if you're UConn, you have to continue to execute your stuff to try to go inside. If Xavier's going to really sell out to take away Sonogo, other guys are going to be available, but you got to continue to try to pound it in. For a UConn team that has just dominated in the post this, day, this year, they are being beaten badly in points of the paint as Cole starts. Over the nine points, and five of them came at the free throw line. With the floater, Muzz off. Sometimes he gets a triple screen. If you're Odom, you got to be ready to chase him. Cole goes straight to the bucket and lays it. In spite of playing with four fouls. And he calmly knocks.